Anthony Grasso here bringing you financial news you can use. In this video, I'm going to do a stock analysis on AMD. I will go over a summary of the company, its product offerings, recent news, financials, analyst projections, and give it my buy, hold, or sell recommendation. So let's get right into it. And as always, folks, don't forget to smash that like button down below. And if you like to hear daily stock analyst uh, recommendations, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So let's get right into it. So AMD is known as Advanced Micro Devices. Uh, it's a global semiconductor company. The company is engaged in offering the x86 microprocessors as standalone devices or as incorporated into an accelerated processing unit or called APU. Chipsets, discrete graphics processing units or GPUs, and professional graphics and server embedded processors and semi-custom system on chip SOC products and technology for game consoles. The company segments include the computing and graphics segment and the enterprise embedded and semi-custom segment. The computing and graphics segment primarily includes desktop and notebook, pro notebook processors and chipsets, discrete GPUs and professional graphics. Now the enterprise embedded and semi-custom segment primarily includes server and embedded processors, semi-custom SOC products, development services and technology for game consoles and licensing portions of its intellectual property portfolio now let's go ahead and look at some news so the biggest news uh, over the past few weeks has been its merger uh, with xelinx xelinx has been acquired by uh, amd as part of an all stock uh, all stock transaction however the market seems not to be looking at the deal with a positive eye with some analysts affirming that amd is overpaid for the company Still, it's important to, to look at things from the changing dynamics perspective in the semiconductor industry. XeLink's financial results have been improving over the past uh, few quarters, and improved metrics are expected for quarter three of 2021 uh, during the earnings announcement on January 26. It makes sense to purchase shares of FPGA company based on current valuations, according to uh, now according to Investor Place, AMD and uh, XeLink's are at the forefront of where the action is in terms of who really needs and buys large amounts of semiconductor chips. This includes data centers and other users of neural networks that use FPGA chips that are act as accelerators for deep learning. Neural networks are necessary for artificial intelligence AI applications in various industries. This is the cutting edge of software development these days. So in any way so so in a way you can see why the stock is so highly priced right now but again the euphoria is already mostly priced in the stock right now investor places stance on amd is that it's priced too high for the for value investors so let's briefly take a look at uh news uh, that's been going on uh with uh with intel right now intel it's its rival so uh intel is amd's major rival intel recently had a hack attack Earlier on Thursday, the Financial Times had cited Intel's chief financial officer saying sensitive information was stolen by a hacker from its corporate website. Intel shares were down on Friday of the blunder even though Intel outperformed its earning projections. But I will save information on Intel for another stock analysis video separately. So let's go ahead and look at the fundamentals of the company. So AMD has a market capitalization of $111 billion with a current market price of $92.79. The company has been increasing revenues over the past few years uh, from $3.9 billion in 2015 to $6.7 billion in 2019. AMG is projected to have uh, $9.54 billion in revenue and $1.2 billion in earnings in 2020 with a projected $16 billion in revenue by the end of 2023, with a projected earnings of $3.71 billion. So AMD's earnings of 37% per year are forecasted to grow faster than the U.S. market of 21.6%. AMD's return on equity is forecasted to be high in three years' time at 31.8%. And compare that to the semiconductor industry uh, forecasted to be around 11.3%. AMD has high quality earnings. The earnings trend is that AMD has become profitable over the past five years, growing earnings of 73% per year. AMD's current net profit margins of 10.2% are higher than the past year of 3.5%. Uh, 
Earnings versus the industry. AMD's earnings growth over the past year are 321%. That exceeds the semiconductor industry of 20.8%. The return on assets is 13.1% compared to the uh, industry of only 6.6. AMD's short-term assets exceed both its short-term and long-term liabilities. The debt level of AMD, uh, the debt to equity ratio of 8.5% is considered satisfactory. Reducing debt, AMD had negative shareholder equity five years ago in the past, but is now positive and therefore improved. The debt coverage, AMD's debt is well covered by operating cash flow, 290.6%. And let's look at the interest coverage. AMD's interest payments on its debt are well covered by EBIT, 28 times coverage. I do have to note, though, that there has been dilution of shares. Okay, shareholders have been diluted in the past year, with total shares outstanding growing about 5.8% per year. But that is uh, a lot less compared to other companies I have recently reviewed. Uh, you know, trust me on that one. Check out those videos. Now, the ownership breakdown of the company, individual insiders own about 0.6%. Public companies own 0.003%. State and local governments own 0.04%. And the general public owns 25.9%. Uh, Institutions own 73.4%. Now, AMD insiders have only sold shares in the past three months, but not in a large amounts and nothing that I see is very concerning. So what do the other analysts say on this company right now? Now, the analyst consensus is a moderate buy. 15% are a strong buy. 41% are a buy. 38% uh, are a hold. 2.56% say it's underperforming. And 2.56% say it's a sell. Now, their price targets have it at around 120 on the high side, uh, 13 on the low side. That seems a little crazy to me, $13 a share on, on this. With an average price target of uh, $93.34 a share. And right now, with the current price of $92.79 a share, it is right in line with their mark. Now I'm going to briefly go over uh, one of the analyst reports I, I, I looked at. The, CFR, the CFRA report has AMD as a buy and states that their buy reflects their expectation for significant share gain on the CPU data uh, center side from the ramp of its uh, next generation EPYC processor Great, uh, greater momentum for AMD's GPU offerings and our expectation for balance sheet improvement. They continue to reach uh, um, to, to remain optimistic about gross margin expansion as AMD shifts to next generation processors that will uh, generate higher volume as well as command higher prices and margins. They anticipate rising demand for GPUs, reflecting the growing need for those processors for machine learning and gaming. Uh, they positively view the pending acquisition of Exilinx, uh, Exilinx uh, as it brings together complementary product offerings. Uh, you have you have CPUs, GPUs from AMD, FFGAs from Exilinx, and increases in addressable market. Now, risks to the recommendation though and, and target price include lower demand for computers and servers, greater than anticipated pricing pressure significant market share loss and slower than expected global economic growth. Their 12 month target of $100 is based on a, a price to earnings ratio of 43.5% or 43.5 times, I'm sorry. Uh, and their 2021 earnings per share estimate is well above the, the, their peers. They see a premium as warranted as they are optimistic about growth prospects for GPUs and see new product offerings allowing AMD to outgrow the industry over the next five years. I agree 100% with the recommendation. Now I'm not going to go. Uh, uh, I'm not going to go into a deep dive on that report or other analyst reports, but I will note that uh, ones from Ford Research, uh, Ford Equity Research, Street Ratings, and the RT Research team also have it as a buy. If you'd like to know all their details, I encourage you to read up on all those reports. So, am I a buy, hold, or sell recommendation on AMD? Now, here are my thoughts before I get into that. First, uh, now don't hold it against me, folks. I do have an Intel chip in the computer that I'm using to do these videos, so definitely don't hold that against me. That being said, let's look at the valuation analysis and my future projections. So, looking at the valuation analysis, uh, because AMD is a semiconductors and semiconductor equipment industry and has positive earnings, the PEG and PE ratios are the most appropriate uh, valuation measures. The price to book ratio is excluded since it only um, it likely underestimates the company's book value by overlooking hidden assets such as intellectual property. 
the price to sales ratio is not as meaningful as the PE or the PEG ratio due to the company's positive earnings. Therefore, AMD seems fairly valued with a PEG ratio value of 3.31 times. That is in line with semiconductors and semiconductor equipment industry median of 3.05 times. Although, the, uh, although their uh, PE ratio or their PE is 129.4x times among the highest in the industry. Now let's look at the profitability analysis. AMD has typical profitability characteristics of a company in the semiconductor and semiconductor equipment industry. While it's the best, uh, it's better than most at converting revenues to profits on a net and operating margin basis, its gross margin is on par with the industry norm. Now let's look at the growth uh, rate analysis. Earnings growth at AMD outpaced revenue growth over the trailing 12 months. This is a trend that is not sustainable if profits are to continue to grow at this rate though. However, this result was better than that of the average company in the semiconductors and semiconductor equipment industry where earnings fell over that period, same same period. And then the financial strength analysis, the debt to, co uh, the debt to total capital ratio at 8.8% is in line with the semiconductors and semiconductor equipment industry's norm with an interest coverage ratio of 40.82 times and a quick ratio of 1.74 times, the company should be able to comfortably repay its debt. Now let's look at the forward projections. Quarter four 2020 earnings is going to be released after the close this uh, coming Tuesday, where projected earnings per share is 41 cents. This is uh, where we're gonna look at right now with the quarter four earnings coming out in two days. In the battle of AMD versus Intel, where Intel just tanked yesterday on news that of a hack forced the chip maker to release its fourth quarter earnings early is great news for the arch rival AMD. And on top of that, AMD has done a much better job of breaking into the hottest category of its chips. And I am predicting and projecting a huge, huge bump in the price of AMD this week and beyond. Also think that AMD has a bright green future, especially with, with when it's projected revenue should take it from a projected 9.54 billion in revenue and 1.2 billion in earnings in 2020 projected to a projected 16 billion dollars in revenue by the end of 2023 with a projected earnings of 3.71 billion dollars now amd is fully valued at its current stock price but with those projections there are big upswings and future potentials and be aware that AMD is subject to the cyclical swings of the semiconductor industry. Demand will fluctuate for computer end products. The selling prices for chips swings up and down, and there will always be strong competition from their arch rival Intel, which is its main competitor. So based on all that information, I am a strong long-term buy on this stock right now to keep it for years to come. I think it's right in line with the current price target, and I would target a price in the next few years in the $125 to $150 a share range. So there you have it, folks. As always, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you like to hear daily stock analysis recommendations. Until the next stock update video later today, folks, ciao.